Now, let's talk about why you're not getting notifications on your iPhone. And there are naturally multiple reasons or multiple possibilities why it may be so. First, you may not be connected to the internet. Of course, it depends on the app, but for most, like social media or it doesn't even matter what it is, like most of the apps require internet connection to get the information and then display to you as notifications. So the most basic thing would be to check if you're connected to Wi-Fi or if you have the cellular data turned on or if you have like a good plan from your carrier or something, make sure that you are connected to internet and that you can actually get the information as notification. The second thing may be that they're not enabled. So if you go to your settings and notifications are right here, so tap on it and there are multiple things in here. So you have like scheduled summary, previews, screen sharing, whatever it is. I mean, at first you have the display as, and uh, this pretty much means uh, this is the way how the notifications are displayed. I have it on a stack, which means that if I go right here, you can see that they are here at the bottom. So you can see that they are like stacked on top of each other, which is okay. But if you have it to count, that means that you can see you have two notifications and you can swipe on them to see them individually, or you have a list. So they just showed up right away and you don't like have them stacked on top of each other. Perhaps it happened to you that you have it set to count or after a software update, you have it like this and you are confused why you cannot see them properly. It could also be one of the options or one of the things to take a look at. Like I say, I keep it to stack. The next thing is individual apps. So if you scroll down a bit, you can see notification style and here is a list of all of the apps that you have downloaded and installed on your iPhone. So it can be whatever you want. For example, Notion, I have notifications turned off. In this case, I will never receive a notification from Notion. I don't know what would that be anyway, but let's take a look at something different. For example, Instagram, I also have it turned off for Instagram, so I never get a DM notification or anything like that. If I turn it on, I have multiple options again. So immediate delivery or scheduled summary. As you know, Apple brought this new thing to keep us like organized and make sure that we don't get bombarded with many notifications. They created this scheduled summary, which means that some not that, that important in notifications are just going to like queue up. And once you get to your time, which you can, of course, set up, you can see deliver at 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. And all of the things that aren't that important are just gonna like collect and then just will be shown to you at once, which may be useful. So if you have the scheduled summary enabled, it means that you won't be receiving notifications in real time. For example, direct messages, you can also deliver them immediately. But if you keep this, this turn off, no matter what you do, you only get notifications from Instagram at 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. So when you, you even have these uh, these notifications enabled, you still won't get them unless the time is correct and you get them in the summary. So make sure to keep that in mind, turn it on for all of the apps that you want to receive notifications from and also keep them on immediate delivery. Then you also have the style of alerts. So perhaps you have the lock screen disabled or you don't even have the banners. And now what happens is that you technically get those notifications, but when you're inside some other app, no banner shows up. That means you don't know about the notification. And when you lock your iPhone or when you glance at it, you also cannot see anything because lock screen is disabled. Perhaps if you have them in the notification center, they're only going to be here, but not on the lock screen. So that's, yeah, that's also another thing to like set up properly. Then you have the sounds and badges. The badge is the red icon, the red number of notifications you have, which shows up like next to your app icon. So make sure to turn it on and also keep the sounds enabled. When it comes to announce notifications, I keep it turned on, but announcing only works when you have like your AirPods here in, uh, in your ears. And it's going to be like Siri is going to tell you that you received a Instagram notification and it says this, it's a message or whatever. Another important part of the notifications is notifications grouping. So let's take a look at some other app. For example, let's take a look at email 
and I have all of the things here, immediate and all of that, but you have the notification grouping and this is automatic. So it just groups them together. If you like receive, if you turn it on by app, it means that all of your mails from this email app are going to be grouped together. So it's going to be like a bundle on your lock screen or notification center. If you turn on automatic, it may like group it by different metric or something. But if you keep it off, you're going to have like a list of all the notifications and you're not going to miss out on anything important. Plus, the last things that you can do is, for example, to like restart your iPhone because this always helps if something is glitchy or bugging. And I mean, it's always a good idea to restart it, wait a bit and turn it on or just like reset your settings. So go to the settings general and scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone. So you can tap on reset and you can reset all the settings. So this is going to get to like the original state and that includes notifications. So in case there's like a bug or a glitch somewhere, it's going to reset it. But these are all the things and I definitely think that it should be enough because you cannot really do a lot more. Of course, there are also notifications on the Apple Watch, so I may also cover that. So make sure to subscribe. Now, if you have ever wondered how you can change the notification sound, because it's, it's a bit more complicated. You don't really have like a lot of settings here. You can see you cannot change the sound or anything. You can just turn it on or off. But if you want to know how to change it, especially for third party apps, make sure to watch this video right here and you're going to find out all the things that you need to know about it.